Hello everybody, I'm Yu Yu. Welcome to my Justice Magenta and Masahiro Guy video. Honestly, I am a bit scared of Ian now as I think they came so quickly. Because when you learn about what they do, they are kind of scary OP. So Justice Magenta have just about everything. Insane DPS from its pretty much all multi-hits weapons and actions, two of which are countered that are also force grabs, providing good CC abilities and more survive abilities. Its chassis are also completely broken. It gives 30% action and weapon changing speed and a huge amount of final attack buff based on its pilot's stats. Then every time it finishes using its actions, it will teleport and heal 10% HP while doing AoE attack in the process. And after doing that for 5 times, it also gains a 60% attack buff for the rest of the battle. How is this allowed? And did I mention pretty much everything it does are invincible or untargetables? It literally don't have any moves that don't have iframes. Most mecha nowadays at least have a basic combo attack that give a small amount of windows of not iframe. But JM straight will change its basic combo into an ult. All of its action cooldown are also pretty fast too and can chain into each other with minimal delays. Masahiro are also pretty good too. He's not like top top tier but still have a very scary skill. His last skill decreases enemies' ability cooldown speed by 3% every time he hits them, trigger every 5 seconds. It might not seem like a lot, but keep in mind, that is cooldown speed, not cooldown that is already charged. That means his target will recharge their actions slower and slower as time goes on, since he can do it infinitely and the debuff are permanent. This makes it really good against action spammers, or action spam heavy units if the battle drags on. Works especially well in 2v2 since he can focus on um, less enemies. In PvE, he can pretty much do the same thing, making him a good boss locker, but if you want him to do DPS, he will have to copy good DPS skill from other pilots with his skill cards. So in PvE, it's more RNG based. Overall, Justice Magenta is definitely worth it. It being a mid-range and probably unable to be used in melee or ranged limited arena are the only weakness that I can really think of. Masahiro are also good but I don't know if he is um, worth to get because he is a paid only pilot. I barely use mine as there are better pilots but I still think, but I still feel it was worth it for me to get since I think he is pretty cool and he does have um, pretty unique skills as well. Um, I'll get into details on both Justice Magenta and Masahiro in my live stream on the weekend. So feel free to come by if you want to learn more about them, or ask me any question, or if you want, to, or if you want to ask me any question live. If you want to ask me questions but you couldn't make it, feel free to just comment down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing. Also, according to YouTube, not many of you guys watching are subscribed. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing because it will help me make more of these kind of videos. It's free and you can unsubscribe whenever you want.
Also, the number one corp or guild in game Raven Saga, along with our sister corps, are all recruiting. We are all active with a large Discord community, and most of our corps are in top 10 with exclusive weekly rewards. Everyone are welcome to join our corps. Just tag me or apply in our Discord, and we will get you into one of the most powerful corps in game. And feel free to join our Discord even if you're not in our guild. Please share this with anyone who might be interested, and thank you so much for watching. Oh, God, the